Hi, I'm Doc Wilson, and you're watching Just Try. This is an online cooking series that showcases interesting recipes to encourage viewers to just try new things. On today's episode, you're going to be learning how to make ramaki, which is a classic appetizer dish which contains chicken liver. Yum? Now, I'm sure most of you are probably a little worried about working with chicken liver, but really it's not that bad, especially if you work with this recipe, ramaki, which uses bacon. So, you know, bacon wrapped anything just about makes anything better, right? Now, conventionally, ramaki is bacon wrapped water chestnut and chicken liver. To make things a little more appealing, I'm trying different variants. I've got the jeweled dates that I'm going to use and try adding to it, or a mandarin orange. So the key thing with liver is you want to make sure that it's coppery red and not muted gray. Good thing about chicken liver is also it's really cheap, about two bucks for a tub. So some of the chicken livers that are going to come in the tub are probably going to be the right size to begin with. Otherwise, you're going to have to chop them down to the right size. As you do so, make sure you get rid of the excess fat that you don't want. Selecting the jeweled dates, you'll have to make sure that they're not overly crystallized. They do have pits, so I recommend slicing them lengthwise into three sections. The center section should contain the pit and go ahead and just remove it. When you're picking out citruses, the best strategy is to smell the rind, the nose nose, it smells right, it's probably right. Making rumaki is very straightforward. All you gotta do is lay the bacon out flat, put your water chestnut down, chicken liver right on top of it, fold in one side so that it covers the chicken liver, and then wrap around. Skewering from the top down is fine. Just being careful not to stab yourself. Cut off the excess. And then once you're done wrapping your ramaki, it's really straightforward cooking them. All you got to do is just preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Put them on a cookie tray. Cook them for about 20 minutes or so. You want to check on them. You may need to flip them at that point. Cook them for another 5 to 10 minutes. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make ramaki. It's definitely a fun little appetizer to entertain your guests with, especially as they learn for the first time that it has chicken liver. Gauging their reactions is pretty adorable. As always, I've been your host, Doc Wilson, and until next time, bon appetit.